Hi guys and welcome back to The Plug Inc. My name is Vanessa Monet and I'm here to give you guys this really beautiful glammed up look. If you watched my last tutorial, you see that I just received the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and it was so, so gorgeous. I decided to create another look using Anastasia eyeshadows and a couple of my other favorites. But if you would like to see this tutorial on solely the eyes, you guys, I go really into the eyes and show you guys how to get this quick and easy look perfect for you beginners out there please comment like subscribe tell me what you guys think like I'm here for the summer so if you like to see how I achieve this little look then keep watching bye guys all right so the first thing I'm going to do is go into the color tempura and I'm going to just take this wet and wild brush and does this color all over the lid Next thing I'm going to do is take the color Golden Ultra and I'm going to place this on my brow bone. And this is a MAC 224 brush. I like this color because it's really it's a really nice um, blendable shade that you can use to blend out eyeshadow. All right, now I'm going to take that same MAC 224 brush. I'm going to take the colors um, Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange. It's these two colors, and I'm just going to kind of mix them together like so. And put this into the transition part of my eye. And I'm going to bring it into my inner corner. Now what I'm going to do is take some scotch tape like so. I'm going to take my Coastal Sense Pro Blending Fluff and I'm going to go into the shade Venetian Red and Love Letter. I'm going to dab those two together and this is just going right into the crease. I'm going to go back in with the color burnt orange and blend out that red at the top there. Going back in with raw sienna and I'm just going to just buff that out as much as I can with that MAC brush and back into golden ultra just to keep my highlight beaming. So I'm going to go in with this black color by Anastasia it is the noir black it is just like my favorite black eyeshadow because it's like super duper dark and I'm going to just pop this very lightly into my outer corner just like so and create the illusion that I have a cat eye so I'm just gonna kind of smoke it out onto the lid very little and keep it right in my outer corner I'm going to go back in with my MAC brush and just kind of blend out some of those lines just because we don't want it to look so harsh. So we're still going to keep that black right here in the corner. So I'm just going to go back in with black, place it there. I still want it to be super duper intense. Then I'm just going back in with my MAC brush and I'm just kind of blending out any harshness that I see. I'm going to go back into the Anastasia palette and I'm going to use this color Cypress Umber and it's just like this beautiful brown and I want to tap this directly on my lid. Only on the lid. Only on the lid. Blend that out again just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Go into my Juvia's Place Nubian palette and it has this very beautiful penny bronze shade here. Now notice I am packing, I'm not scrubbing it on the eye, I'm just packing it on the lid. 
did experience a little bit of fallout, but don't worry, that's why we do the eyes first. And remove this tape. If you don't already use the makeup remover wipes by Nutrigena, these are bomb. All right, so I went ahead and I put on my foundation. I also highlighted and did a little bit of clean contouring on my nose and my head. Now I'm going to just go ahead and finish the eyes. Before I finish my eyes, even after I put on a full face of makeup, I have to put um, baking underneath the eyes just so that if I have any fallout, it has a place to go. So what I like to use to do that is this powder now this is the rcma no color powder i paid ten dollars for it i'll leave a link in my description as to where you can get this from but literally this is laura mercier translucent powder in a cheaper form it's, it's it does the same job it's absolutely amazing and i do use this for my under eye baking and it does beautiful it has no flashback whatsoever it's just really really nice powder for your under eye i recommend this for anybody who loves to bake so i'm going to take this beauty blender and it's it's kind of damp a little let me get it a little bit more okay it's a little bit damp and i'm going to dip it into that no color powder and just place it directly underneath the eyes I even kind of go a little bit on my nose because sometimes fallout can kind of go and get on my nose and make me so upset. Alright, so I'm going to use my Anastasia Deadly Hills brush. It has one side that's kind of small and it's the regular blending side. First, go back into my Modern Renaissance palette in the color Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna. And I'm going to place this directly under the eyes, but kind of lower. Okay, that's there. I'm going to take that same um, color Noir Black and I'm going to place this on the outer corner. Going to go back into the Nubian palette and pick this color back up. Again, I'm going to spray my little brush with Fix Plus back into that bronzy shade, the same color I used on the lid, and I'm going to bring this into my inner lid, inner corners. All right, now that I'm done with the eyes, I'm going to take a sipping brush and my True Match powder in the shade W7, and I'm just going to lightly dust away all of this powder. All right, I'm going to take my all-time Black Radiant Express powder. I use this literally all the time, and I'm just going to use this to bronze up the skin. So if you watched my last video, you would have noticed that I used the e.l.f. blush palette in dark. So it's really easy to go overboard with blush. Alright, so before I apply the highlight, I do like to go in with Fix Plus. I'm going to go in with my favorite highlighter. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the number two. And I'm just going to use this to highlight every place on my face, basically. Alright, 
I'm going to go apply some lashes and then I'll be right back for lash. Today I went in with ILU London Dramatic Lashes in the number 202. I did have to cut these lashes because they are a tad bit long. What I'm going to do is go in with my Estee Lauder Sumptuous Bold Volume Lifting Mascara and place this on my eye, just a little bit of it. Not too much on my lashes because I do like to reuse these. Now for the lips today, I'm going to be using my Kiss New York Luxury Lip Liner and this is in the shade Roasted Coffee. Guys, this is my favorite lip pencil color. Um, then I'm going to just go in with the NYX Soft Cream Lip and this is in the shade London. I love this color. Then I'm going to go in with my Revlon lip gloss in the shade Sandstorm. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love Revlon lip glosses. And that is it for today's look, you guys. I'm so glad um, this look did come out the way it did. I really, really like it. Like, this is probably one of my favorite quick, fast, in a hurry looks that I would do if I was going out somewhere. So thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys.